Hello and welcome. It's Pete here with the launch of a brand new craft box. That's right, it's our January craft box. What happened to 2021? Well, best left where it is actually, but we're bringing some hope, we're bringing some colour, we're bringing some spring freshness. This, as I say, it's brand new. This is how it will come to you. And we've got some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous dyes in here. We know about the great value. Check the website for the prices. Um, we've got this lovely envelope liner set. And this is called Botanic Envelope Liners. And that is by Jen Ogborn, fantastic designer. Then we have this one. Now this is our spring heart. Now, if you like this die, if you like what I've done with it, I want you to know that this is exclusive to the January crack box. You cannot buy this die set anywhere else. And an old favorite of mine, there it is. It is our hearts framelits. Now, what is the difference between a thinlet and a framelit? Well, a framelit has the blade on the inside of the steel. So if I cut a lovely photograph or I want to cut an aperture, it doesn't emboss. It just gives me a lovely, clean, crisp edge. And as you can see there, one, two, three, four, five, six dies in that set. Now, going back to the envelope liners, we need some envelopes. And here is a set of 10 cards and envelopes. And the color is Ballet Slipper from our color story. So they're absolutely gorgeous cards. There's no gum on them, incidentally, and there is a good reason for that. And obviously, these envelope liners come into play with that. But if you do need to stick them down, then how about a permanent adhesive roller, which we've thrown in as well. Then we have a glitter and our sequins and beads. So to add a bit of bling, a bit of I don't know what, but you know, we love our glitters, we love our sequins and beads, they do add a certain something. Now, let's take those away for just a second because, because we want to talk about cardstock. And as ever, we have the most gorgeous, gorgeous color palette. And this uses some of our core range, but also some of our festive as well. So that runs through, it's a really, really nice color palette and it's so well put together for this particular craft box. Now, as well as that, talking about bling, how about this? These are 10 sheets of card from our gold opulent range. So we have gold, we have rose gold, we have silver, we have, what well, we have, I think we have five different colors of opulence, but we're getting the glitter card, we're getting the matte, we are getting the brushed, the mirror, and the pearl. Finally, work beautifully together, work fantastically well by themselves. And if that wasn't enough, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have five sheets of our clean, bright, crisp cardstock, the white cardstock, if you want to use it for base cards or even for die cutting. It's entirely up to you. Now, at this point, I usually remind you about what great value this set is, and it is truly great value. You are getting not only the three die sets, but you're getting everything else, the envelopes and cards, you're getting your roller, you're getting your sequins and beads, your glitter, all that lovely card stock, for, which is an insane price, and this exclusive, yes, exclusive die set. But I wanna show you some of the things that I've made with this. Now, you probably have ideas of what you're going to do yourself. So let's pop these back in the box. And it's a very handy storage box. This is something that you can use to keep your card and paper in or some of your favorite dies. We'll just put that to one side for a second and we'll talk about some of the cards that I've made. Now, this is our spring heart. And you can see all these lovely little elements. So Valentine's is on its way. Hey, how about that? It's all done for you. So this banner comes in that die set, as does the word love, using the cardstock that comes in the box as well. And this is the largest of the set of hearts. Now, if you want to use just some of the elements, because we do have some separate elements as well with the banner. Again, one of our framelit hearts. And then 
Let's bring in some gold opulence. Ooh, how about that? So this one, just slightly offset this time. I've actually trimmed it away down there. Just using the gold and bringing in that pink for a splash of color there. Now, what about the framelits? Let's look at the framelits by themselves. How about that one? Now, you see this one here? That's using the detail dye from our envelope liners. So I've cut two shades of gold and stuck them together there. So that's, that's quite a cool effect, I think. Then you could keep it really, really simple. You can see we've cut one aperture and then we've added all these little die cut elements. Maybe you like a splash of spring color. Do what you love, that's what I say. So there you go, so we've cut the dies. So I actually cut these out to use, but then I thought, hey, what the heck, let's just trim away the apertures and layer those up. Then, gold opulence, how about that? So do you remember those scissors which cut a deckled edge, we used to call it, or a stamp edge? I've still got a pair. I still use it from time to time, not as much as I used to. Now, hearts, very, very versatile. How about this? Now, this butterfly was created. These bits, actually, they're parts of the flower, and those are part of the stems from our lovely spring heart set. So we've made a butterfly. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some, I haven't done this for ages, and this is really, really good fun. So what I want to do is show you something that we used to do in workshops years ago. It's a lot of fun. Now, this is one of the hearts. Let's cut that in half. So, you can either a heart hole or in half like this. And what I've done, it's almost like a magic trick there, wasn't it? What I've done, I've actually cut some ready to use here. And you'll see, you'll see what happens. We'll put all this together in a second and you'll see where I'm going with this. So this is all hearts and half hearts. So let's take my lovely tape roller and I'll start applying all the different bits to the card like this. This is my base card and you see it says 24 carat birthday wishes and um, we've used the spelling of carrot like uh, as with gold but there's a pun in there folks there is because we're going to be bringing in some carrots in a sec now this is half a heart and I'm going to place that something like that again let's take my tape roller pop that in place now with this one what I want to do, again, take roller, get some on the back there. I'll place that like so, and I've got two halves here. All different size hearts um, from the same set, of course. Now, I want to attach this one, but I'm going to curl that slightly. I'll just use the edge of my scissors. And let's take this time, I'll bring in my express glue for the, the fine bits here. Let's get a bit, actually, you know what, I can do that. What am I talking about? I can do that with my tape runner. I don't need to bring in my glue at all. There we are, there's one. And again, we'll curl this using the edge of my scissors, like so. Just slightly, because I want to get a bit of dimension. So, there we are, a bit more tape. Like so, again, uh, I'm gonna put some on the edge there, because at this point, I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. I'm sure you can see what's happening here. And you can see where the carrot pun comes in. Of course, we are making a lovely little bunny rabbit. Now, it wouldn't be a bunny rabbit without those teeth, would it? So there's another heart there. We shall pop that down. And uh, I'll just reach over and get my glue because this time I really do need it and I'm going to take these little now I use a hole punch for these so I put a bit of glue on my finger and then just pop those in place so this this is the only bit where I haven't used the hearts so we've all got hole punches or I'm sure we've got dies with small circles on them as well now half a heart 
half a gold heart this time. And I've cut this piece of greenery. I actually cut this with my scissors. So let's attach that there. So you see when I said 24 carat, it's, it's clever stuff, boys and girls, it really is. Now, let's talk about our bunny rabbit's tail because we'll mold that in my fingers, get a bit of dimension and attach this there like so before, at this time I want to use some of my adhesive foam tape. This is also a Sizzix product, check out the website, it's fabulous. And we'll pop that on the back just to get a bit of dimension. There's my bunny rabbit in all its glory before we're going to add our lovely carrot. Let's put it Let's put it something like that. And again, I shall take some of my foam, get that dimension, pop that in place like that. Now we want him holding, or her, him or her, holding that carrot. So I'm gonna take these. These are gonna be the arms again. It's half a half, since we haven't deviated at all from that. So there's one hand there, and then a bit more glue, one hand there, like so. And that is it there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there is my bunny rabbit, and that's just using the hearts. Wasn't that fun? I mean, you, you can mix up the colors. You can use your yellows, you can use browns, whatever you want. I just went with one of the colors in our pack. You can even add a little dimension. You can curl up the body like that to add a bit of contrast. 24 karat birthday wishes. And that brings me to the end. Thank you so much. This has been the January craft box. That last one was just a bit of fun. But three great dice sets, the envelope liners, the frameless hearts, the spring heart, we've got the envelopes and we've also got the cards. So there's cards and envelopes. So that is the card. Oh, do you know what? Before I go, I forgot, I completely forgot to show you these. These are how the envelope liners come out. And I've just used three of the colors in the pack and I've added some of the detail there. That is what they look like when you add them to the envelopes. Um, I can't believe, I was having so much fun, I almost forgot to show you that. But you know, you can do it with your opulence, you can do it with whatever color paper. If you want to put white on the inside, it's entirely up to you. We do have lots of different colors of envelopes in the scissor trade, if you want to take a look at them. But absolutely gorgeous set, really, imagine, imagine opening up the envelope and seeing something like that, or like that, or like that. So check out our new January craft box. Go to the website, check out the prices, it's, an, it's absolutely stunning, it's great fun, it's versatile. We've got spring, we got Valentine's, we've got everything going on. It's a new year, it's a new craft box. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon.